Okay, so hello everybody, my name is Sebastian Baez from University of Geneva and this is a video tutorial for this package called Tefra Pro uh, which we designed with uh, Kostan Zabanadlna and Chuck and Laura Connor from the University of South Florida. And this package is dedicated to, to, to provide an integrated way, an integrated tool to produce probabilistic hazard assessment for Tefra accumulation. And it is written in MATLAB and pretty much the aim is to ease all uh, the gathering of input parameters of various sources, then treat these input parameters, uh, provide some tools to assist, um, um, for example, uh, assessing the wind conditions of a given point, the eruptive history of a given volcano, and um, all these functions are wrapped around the graphical user interface just so people with a uh, few skills or no interest in programming languages can, can still do some cool things. So as I said, um, this package is platform independent, uh, so meaning that you can use it on your Mac, on your Windows, on your Linux machine. We work to make the Tefra 2 model independent, so I forgot to say that we use uh, the Tefra 2 model, uh, which is um, an analytical solution of, uh, of the advection diffusion equation. And um, although the code is written in MATLAB, uh, we are working on some compiled versions of the code uh, in case no license is available. And also uh, one aim with this package is that such computations are typically achieved on uh, clusters of computers because it can be quite intensive but we also provide uh, a few turnarounds in order to be able to to run some probabilistic hazard assessment on single CPU uh, computers and in this case I'm gonna run this example on my MacBook Pro so that's what Teferprob is and what Teferprob is not and shouldn't be used as such is a black box which is used without understanding of the process behind. So uh, first I would like just to mention a few papers uh, that treat of probabilistic hazard assessments. And uh, the first one, I would recommend you to read the Bonan de Nietzsche 2005, which is the first hazard, probabilistic hazard assessment performed with um, Tefra, which was, was the first version before Tefra 2. Then uh, eruption scenarios that were first formalized by Costanza Bonadona in this 2006 paper, which is a paper that was uh, published in the Statistics and Volcanology book. I also suggest in the same book that you look at this paper of Lara and Chuck Garner, which um, so has an assessment we use what we call the forward solution of the model, meaning that we input uh, eruption parameters in the model and it calculates tefra accumulation. This paper explores uh, inversion modeling, so you input field parameters to constrain uh, the best possible eruption source parameters. Then there is this uh, paper of Alain Valentik, which uh, also takes um, takes hazard assessments and inversions further. And then we have a paper with Costanza on Cotabaxi, where we also discuss some of some of the aspects of um, defining eruption um, completeness in the record. And I mean, I cite this paper; it's not a reference, but at least. It gives you a place to start, and we ref there are lots of references that you can check. And then more recently, we published this paper on Iceland, and this takes some concepts of uh, probabilistic eruption scenarios a bit further, try to model um, different um, eruption styles, such as long-lasting eruptions. Two other papers I suggest you to check are the papers of Costanza Bonadona, on the Montserrat book, so it's 2002, and there's, uh, there are some concepts such as the aggregation scheme that we're going to use throughout the codes and um, the, the, the thermal approach that we take for Vilkinian explosions. And then the paper of Vim uh, the Greater and Costanza Bonadana on a new 
model a new way to, to assess the mass eruption rate from the plume heights and the wind conditions. Also, you can check uh, Chuck's website on Tefra2. It's going to give you some ideas on how the actual model works, uh, the solution of the advection diffusion, um, the binning of the plume heights, uh, the, yeah, the concept of plume heights, and this kind of things. And a last thing that I would like to mention is that beside requiring MATLAB, you're going to need Python. So, to 7 is the version with which I experienced the least uh, problems and if you are using Windows you're gonna have to download and install SIGWIN so check the user manual there are a couple of dependencies that you need to install you need to be careful when you install it so I'll explain in the user manual um, but pretty much what SIGWIN does it's giving you um, some, some, some Unix functionalities for Windows which is required to run the model Tefra2, which is written um, initially for Linux, well, Unix. So that's the starting point. Check the companion paper of this of this code. Check the user manual, which we try to make it as comprehensive as possible, and then let's get started. So once you have downloaded the code and unzipped it, this is the structure that you should have. Okay, you should have this different folder. So the code folders really contains all the scripts that are used uh, in the software. The curve, I okay, that should be empty initially, but it's going to contain all the hazard curves. Then you have where you, the folder where your grids and points of interest are stored where the model is stored, where your different runs are stored, then you have the main interface, and then where your wind uh, databases are stored. So for starting, let's go to MATLAB, and from here, we just navigate to the root of uh, the Tefra Pro folder. Okay, so we're here. And so one thing that is vitally important is that if you want the code to run this specified in this address, like in this bar here, it should always you should always remain in the root of the Tefra Pro folder. If you go, uh, if you change folder, the, the the code is gonna stop working. Okay, so once you are ready, you just type the t name of the M file. Sorry, here it's still a better name, but it's probably just gonna be Tefra Pro. Then you do that. We did MATLAB. You can type. Well, you can use the, the tab uh, key to just complete the name, your presenter, and the main interface is uh, opening. And from here then, we have various um, options that we can choose. So uh, we can load some runs, set preferences. This is what's going to be used for the, for the input gathering input parameters to the model so such as grid points of interest wind conditions and this is the global volcanism program database which we can access and display then we can run scenarios uh, probabilistic scenarios in different for different types of eruption so Pliny and Plinian, Vulcanian, long lasting short lasting um, but we'll see that later then this is used to run actually the model then we have some sets of post-processing functions and some set of displaying functions. So through, yeah, let's get started.